gentlemen, we have cosine divided by sine plus sine divided by cosine. Um, again, we need to, if we're looking at, you know, one of the first things I told you guys is if you have operations, try to apply the operation. If you have, if it says to add, try to see what you can go ahead and add. So, Kelsey, when looking at this, um, I noticed that, remember, just the same thing. If I had 3 fourths plus 5 thirds, I can't combine them unless I have an else, unless I have common denominators. So to find common denominators, I'd have to determine what is the LCD, which in this case is going to be 12. So therefore, I want both denominators to be in the form of 12. So to do that, I would have to multiply the left side by 3 over 3 and the right side by 4 over 4. Right? A little fraction review. OK. So now all we're doing is just doing the exact same thing with trig. So if I look at these two, I say, all right, well, what would be the common denominator for sine of theta and cosine of theta? Well, the common denominator is just going to be the, the product of those, which would be cosine of theta, sine of theta. All right. So therefore, to get my common denominator, I need to multiply cosine of theta on the left side and sine of theta on the right side. So I'm just multiplying them on the left and on the right. Yes? And then putting cotangent and tangent. Putting cotangent and tangent? Yeah. Oh, OK. Well, I mean, if you rewrite them, yeah, you're right. OK, so cotangent of theta plus sine of theta. Yeah. I'm sorry, but plus tangent of theta. OK, that's fine. You didn't do anything wrong. But we can still simplify that, though. You can still add cotangent and tangent. See what I'm saying? So yeah, you converted it correctly. There's nothing wrong with what you did. But we can still simplify this expression by getting common denominators. The problem with the last problem was when we had sine of theta plus cosine of theta, you can't combine those without making the expression more complicated. All right? But here, we can simplify this without making it more complicated. So you didn't do anything wrong, but we can go, we can go farther steps. So by multiplying this, I now have cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta divided by cosine of theta sine of theta. And cosine, the cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta is going to equal 1. So now I have 1 over <coughs> cosine of theta times sine of theta, which now I can just rewrite that as secant of theta times um, cosecant of theta. And now I've combined them into a product, which would be a simplified version for us. OK? Guys, I can't tell you how.